I'm Jasper Nation. I'm with a very special guest for our next chat. I am joined by Joe Jakes, former Manhattan Jasper standout. Joe was drafted by the Pirates in the 33rd round in 2018 and has skyrocketed to double A in just two short years in the minor leagues. Joe, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Thanks. And uh, before I, I start, I have to ask, how is your family doing and where are you right now? Uh, family, family's well. Everyone's safe and healthy right now. And uh, we're all in New Jersey. My sister lives down the street, but me and my mom and my dad are here. So everything's good. That's great. And uh, one other thing I have to ask you about is that I heard you were in the bullpen for Garrett Cole's first Yankee start this spring training. Yeah, that is true. Uh, we were at the Yankees for the first game of spring training, and I happened to be in the bullpen that day, and the place was packed. It was his first time in a Yankee uniform, so, I mean, it was a pretty surreal experience. It was kind of, I mean, going to all the Yankees games, especially when I was back in Manhattan, it was like, it's almost like a miniature version of the uh, Yankee Stadium, so that was one thing that kind of hit me, honestly. It was like, wow, this is it's getting real. I bet you didn't realize it, but they, the Yankees have the same dimensions for every single ballpark that they have in the minor leagues as Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. It looks <laughs> the exact same. And, and uh, Joe, so have you been able to get any throwing in during uh, the COVID-19 so far? Yeah, I've been throwing every day. Uh, the tough part is finding uh, like mounds to throw off of because a lot of the parks are closed. But Coach Cole hooked me up with Mark Leiter Jr., a uh, big leaguer for the Blue Jays and Phillies. He's with the Arizona Diamondbacks now. So I'm uh, going to start throwing with him, and I think that will definitely help me a lot, especially being able to pick his brain as well. And, uh, Joe, before this all went down, how did spring training go for you, and where were you looking at starting this year? I mean, it was going really well. So, I mean, I was really excited and now bummed, obviously, now that it all changed. But, I mean, I was – in uh, some of the big league games and thrown really well and everything. But uh, I probably would have started in Altoona, the double-A team, and went from there. Did they uh, talk to you about what your role was going to be this year, set up, closer? Uh, yeah, more of, I'm just – I'm usually the seven, eight inning guy, the, the bridge guy that kind of closes the gap and brings the closer in the game. And how does the new rule in baseball where you have to face three batters help a guy like you? You throw from so many different arm angles. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, I've showed them I don't just do well against lefties. I can pretty much do well against lefties, righties, or anyone. It doesn't really matter, so it's still good. That's great. And uh, has there been any talk to when you might be going back to Pirate City and what your next move will be? No, I mean, everything's up in the air. No one knows anything yet, so it kind of it's all going to trickle down from the big leagues first, so once they decide – what's going on, like, then the minor leagues will follow suit. And now we're going to pivot back to Manhattan. Um, so there's a funny story that Coach Cole tells me every now and then. He told me that, I don't know if you remember this, but when, when you got hurt against Fairfield your, your senior year, he's told me that it ended up being one of the best days of the season for him because, A, Fairfield didn't have to face you, and, B, he got you back for your fifth year as his, as his ace. Looking back on this now in hindsight, how beneficial was that injury for you? I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty much a blessing in disguise because, I mean, at the time, obviously I was very bummed out because actually that was the first game a scout came to see me personally and didn't, I made it through one batter and that's it. So, I mean, it was nowhere to go from up but there and luckily got my fifth year back by literally like one game. and. Uh, I mean, it just – I don't think I would have gotten drafted without it. I was able to pitch in some big games that fifth year against Stetson in the opener, against Logan Gilbert, who was a first-rounder, and threw pretty well. And, I mean, who know, everything happen for, happens for a reason, clearly, because yeah, – I think if my memory serves me well, I think you struck out more batters than he did that night and actually had a better line. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never been one of a, much of a self-promoter, Joe. It's all right. We'll, we'll do that for you. Um, <laughs> Um, and also, you were one of the leaders of that 2018, 2018 team that really set the tone for the current Jaspers. How high is is the bar I mean, limit for Mike and the boys? I mean, Cole came in and started winning right away. And, I mean, he might not have had 
the best talent, but he, this guy just finds way to like find ways to win. So, I mean, he's got a lot more talent now with, he's got Nick Massa and Nick Samillo, a bunch of guys that have potential to be drafted. So I don't see them not winning it any uh, sometime soon. They're going to win it. I mean, they, they came so close last year. I don't know if you got a chance to see when they had two wins in the first day of the MAC tournament and that Canisius game was about as good of a college baseball game as I've ever seen, just back and forth action. And, you know, it, it really, I think it really speaks a testament to, to the attitude that you guys, you're, you know, the seniors you're in 20, 2018, what you guys brought to the team. And I think our current guys have really fed off of that and they see guys like you and Fabian and Tom excelling in the minor leagues and they buy in. So it's, it's, so even though you weren't on that team, I think you're just as much of a part of it as anybody else. And, um, you know, and the last question I have for you is that, you know, you played at BCP as a freshman in 2014. You know, we saw you at the Bringing Baseball Back to the Bronx event back in January. What do you remember about the field? And how big of a, big of a thing is this for the program moving back to the Bronx? I mean, it's, it's a huge advantage. I mean, they might not realize it yet, but once they're back there and playing there, it's it's pretty unreal there's a there's an energy around it gives the team just like more motivation to win because they're right at home pretty much and uh if I'm not mistaken one of the teams went like 18 and 0 at home at VCP I forget what year it was but not that long ago so it's definitely an advantage and it's it'll be huge for the program yeah, I think you guys your, your freshman year I think you guys needed to sweep out on the last week in the year to get in the playoffs and you guys did and I think you were one of the guys, I don't know, did you get the win or did you get the save or to clinch it? Yeah, I threw a complete game shot out, actually, on this, in the seven-inning game. Not surprised at all, Joe. If I, if I remember you pitching, always big, big games when we needed it the most. But uh, thanks so much for joining us here. And, uh, you know, stay safe and let us know about your uh, plans whenever they change. And, you know, hopefully we're back going soon. But if not, We'll see you uh, in 2020, 2021, who knows. But uh, just stay safe and keep and hope the throwing goes well. Yeah, I appreciate it.